Hello friends of Golf Course Quality Fertilizer. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about Creeping Red Fescue. Uh, it's in almost every single bag that you buy at the store that has shade sun mix in it or claims it's got shade sun stuff in it. Um, and so here's uh, one of my problems with Red Creeping Fescue. I mean if the whole lawn was pure Red Creeping Fescue I think it'd look pretty good. Um, but there is some issues even with Red Creeping Fescue and you can see right here uh, that I have some Red Creeping Fescue in my lawn. And so the, the problem with it, it has such a different texture than your Kentucky blue grasses and perennial rye grasses. So you can see them just poking out here, the, the Kentucky blue grasses in here. And then the red creeping fescue is the one that's down in here and it's this real fine uh, looking grass and it's kind of feels a little coarser, not as soft. Uh, and then in the summertime, it'll start to lay over and get this weird look and then therefore get diseases like this spot did right here. Um, and so, uh, it's not a very preferred grass for me in particular. I don't like the texture of it uh, unless it's 100% um, red creeping fescue, uh, but it has growth issues and stuff. But you can see it, it grows in patches as well. And so, uh, it really kind of sticks out in these, it'd be a weird spot because you can see all the rest of my lawn is, is almost all, you know, turf type or is all tall fescue or something that has the, the, uh, same texture as blue grass does and so uh, these patches so how do we watch out for red creeping fescues okay so they're almost in every bag of the stuff that you get that are shade sun mix uh, at the stores and you'll read the back there's this white label on the back that'll say the percentage of different types of grasses that are in the bag very important to read that before you purchase something if you see weed seeds in there at a certain percentage like 0.2 that's actually a really high weed percentage and it's all going to be grassy weeds the kind that you can't get out of your lawn it's not going to be like a dandelion or something in there so be careful buying seeds that have weed seeds in them uh, and also you'll read on the back it'll say something like red creeping fescue 20 percent It'll say Kentucky bluegrass, 20%, you know, perennial ryegrass, a certain percentage. And also, I'll see sometimes in there it says annual ryegrass uh, at a certain percent. Well, annual ryegrass is a complete waste of time unless you really need to get some grass on a hillside very quickly because it germinates in like one to two days. It's really fast germinating grass. Uh, and so it's really only utilized for areas that are um, going to have... Uh, a real steep slope and you have to get something on there growing to help hold that soil as quick as possible but then remember it's an annual rye grass so it lives for one year and then it dies so uh, it's not really beneficial in a in most lawns uh, in most situations uh, so look at the back of that that bag we do sell seeds pure blends that you know have very low if any weed seeds at all in them um, smaller than anything at the store and they're pure blends so you'll get all Kentucky bluegrass or all turf type tall fescue or or all perennial ryegrass and sometimes we do desire mixes so we have those type as well so uh, remember that look at the seed make sure it's not there right now is the best time of the year in September to seed uh, areas and so uh, look to start doing some seeding I'm going to show you a little project over here uh, this is an area that a tree was removed. I'm going to show a video here in the future, near future, of how to seed an area uh, in your lawn uh, and things like that. And you'll, you'll get some tips from that in a, a future video. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, our email is gcqfertilizer at gmail.com. Thanks so much.